So, we'll be taking a look at, at the 8-bit do SN30 Pro Plus Bluetooth gamepad. And this is a gamepad that's apparently compatible with Switch, Windows, Android, Mac, Steam and Raspberry Pi. And uh, as you can see, this is the black edition. And uh, I bought this on a sale for about around 40 bucks. So $40. And we'll see if this is uh, as good as other reviewers I have seen give it. Is it that good? And I will also be comparing this to other controllers or some other controllers. Not the uh, Nintendo Switch Pro controller though, because I do not own a such such a controller, which is exactly why I bought this one. And let's see. Um, all right, that was easy. Uh, let's see, I like the I like the package. Like the package. 8 bit 2 Ultimate Software. Oh, yeah, and this is the first 8 bit 2 uh, controller I have ever bought, and but I have heard very positive, positive things about their controllers and other things they make. So, yeah, they have a high bar to uh, really. Show here, plastic. Let's move that. Oh, plastic above the buttons here. You see, very, very nice. I like this. It's a very nice package. Uh, quality. Let's, see, let's move, remove that. Nice. Let's see here. Oh, yes. Oh, it's heavy. Much heavier than I expected. R2L2. Oh. That's gonna fuck everything up. Ooh, yes. All right. The battery, since it's a Bluetooth, it's rechargeable. I hope. Just, I'm guessing there's a yes. Here it is. The instruction manual. Manual. Eh. Maybe some other day when I get get a problem with it. Let's see, here's the charging cable, which is about hard to tell. I would say about 90, 90 centimeters, maybe? It'll do fine. It's a USB C, yes, yes, USB C, so finding a Longer recharging recharging cable for it should be no worries if I feel like that. But let's see how are these? Ooh, those are a bit weird. But quite nice anyway. Oh, those feel very analog. Reminds me of the old Super Nintendo controller, <laughs> which is this is supposed to be a representation of, as you can see very clearly with the start and pause and the gamepad and oh yes that that gamepad really nice a bit hard but that's the way it should be I, in my opinion if you play a game which requires very fast button pressing I'm not sure how these work actually and uh, this could be a bit too far for some people uh, i'm not into those kind of games like smash brothers uh never been very good at them good at them uh, i bought this mainly because i just bought hyrule warriors definitive edition on the switch and uh, i thought maybe a more pro controller ish uh, would be better than the uh, ordinary joy cons which are yes very mm, 
they're fine they're, they do their purpose uh, uh, what to tell which one is actually the better one but this feels nicer reminds me more of the PlayStation 4 controller although they are a bit bigger so it's like a mix between PlayStation 3 or PlayStation 2 and the PlayStation 4 controller. So DualShock 2 and DualShock 4, I guess. Then. And yeah, and then we have the Xbox One controller. This one I use for my PC. And this, so this will probably be, be only used for the Switch. Unless I find a really good mobile game, but I have my doubts about that. Who knows? Who knows? So, never say never. And yeah. Uh, oh, those. Yeah. These ones are a bit heavier. Close, but. Almost, so let's see. Uh, yeah, these ones are almost identical, in my opinion. And yeah, it feels really good. I like the R and L button as well. They are they don't travel that much, and uh, they're I can rest my fingers on them without accidentally pressing them down, like. I don't know how many times I've been here and accidentally pressed R or ZR even and yeah even me with my small fingers find these buttons way too small and uh, I think this will be much better for that those are hard but the controller is new so what should I expect really uh, yeah, reminds me very much about the PlayStation DualShock 4 buttons. A bit harder, but this DualShock is about well, a bit over three years now, three years old. So, if this is the or is this the second controller I bought, maybe then it's about well two years maybe. Anyway, back to this one. Oh, that brings back memories. Yeah, and these buttons work well as the these ones. Although this one is almost sunk into the Joy-Con, this one is a bit more, yeah, precise. And yeah, I will be charging this one up because I'm guessing you will have to charge it before you connect it to the the switch so so let's see if this works it says to press hold down start and Y which one is Y it's... or press that and then hold that for three seconds Let's see. Start and Y, and or like that, and then hold down pair for three seconds. So that's it. Three seconds. That was supposed to flash, and then we go uh, controllers, change grip order, and. Hmm. As you can see, I finally got the uh, it bit uh, controller to connect. Uh, it wasn't the easiest thing, easiest thing actually, but uh, it worked. Um, if you have problems, uh, do what I do: spam the buttons. Like now, the controller is turned off so I press 
start and Y. And then that starts flashing forward and backwards and then I just press L and R. Pulling them down, nope, nothing. Seriously? This worked earlier. Why isn't it why isn't it working now? Yay! Finally, fucking finally. So, as I said, just spam the buttons and maybe hold down this, uh... Yeah, that button. Connect, whatever. Uh, can't remember the name, actually. And for some reason, it says... No, uh, let's see. It says that the controller is only at, like, two-thirds on the battery, but when I charged it, it, uh sort of the instruction says uh, when the red light here is solid it's uh, charging and when it's it's turned off it's done charging and it flashes when the battery is low and now when I charged it it started shifting between solid and off so I'm confused, but uh, I guess I'll, next time I'll wait for it when it's totally off. But uh, let's try some high roll. Let's see how this compares to when I played earlier with the joy comps. See if this in, is any better. Oh god damn it! Press start and why again? Jesus Christ. Oh. Ah, there we go. Okay, I wasn't even doing anything at that moment. Um, the instruction manual also said it connects automatically to the switch. I think. Uh, controller will auto connect, connect to your switch with the press of start once it has been paired. Okay, that explains it. Um, yeah, let's resume. I was in the middle of some battle yesterday. Let's see what happens. Let's see where I am. Oh yeah, that it's the forest thing burning and all that. And yeah, sorry for the video quality being like this, but honestly, I... Oh... Oh, right, my bad. It's not... I need to press start. Right. Uh, oof. This was a bit different, yes. Let's see, where am I? Yeah, that doesn't help. Uh... I, really I really hate those guys! I'm starting to hate them even more every time I fight them. Honestly, I'm not a fan of Sheik either. She's a good fighter, but eh, I have to say she's a bit mediocre. A chicken, seriously? Oh, 
Who's Kuko? Not the chicken. Nope. Okay, laid an egg and then disappeared. Okay, that's nice. Let's see what happens here. Alright, the big fairy. The big sexy fairy. With a weird, creepy smile. But yeah, I like the controller. Much better than the Joy-Cons. The Joy-Cons were, were so small and it's difficult to actually press those buttons. Although something I just noted is that if you want to know which button is which on this, if you're new, um, that's gonna be a problem. The you have the X and Y and A and B here, but they are barely visible. Visible, but that's okay. I've been playing Switch long enough to actually remember which button is switch. Although. I have my moments when my memory fails me. The fire's out! Yay! I can't go here for some freaking reason. Uh, let's do this. Uh, I only have one, you know. Oh, better than that. Uh, let's see, it seems to be... Whoa! Oh, chickens! Chickens! Um, sorry? Thank you for watching and I will maybe do a update on this video if I feel like it. And also, if anything comes up with this controller, I will be sure to let you guys know. But first, let's crush some enemies. Oh yeah. Ultimate go! Or whatever the hell I'm supposed to call it. It's a powerful attack and it kills all enemies. It's an ultimate, right? <sighs> Damn it, I need a special character to open this? Oh, fuck it, where is she? Ah. Uh. There, that wasn't too bad. Uh, not too far away. Run! Run! Forest, run! Get to the chest! A. Yep, that's great. Well, as I said, thank you for watching and uh, have a great day! I sure. Ooh, I got a piece of heart! Collect four pieces to increase your maximum heart by one. Huh? Just like in Link's Awakening. Well, thank you for watching. I hope that is the last time I say that.